Saying. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. You're still in your pajamas. I am. What do we got going on today? It's 8.30. Yeah, you, we got a lot of stuff to do, don't we? We do. Uh, I have Death Bubble, which is contributed to three out of four upper control arms knitting bushings. That made absolutely no sense, but you said it like backwards. Backwards? Yeah, the death wobble contributed to your control arm bushings? Yeah. No. That's, that's <laughs> control a little... arm bushings contributed to my death wobble. Yeah, you're a little, you're a little... good morning. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even drink coffee. All right, so we got control arm bushings. We know a known issue. We got what other known issue? Oh, my rear track bar needs bushings as well. All right, there's another one. So we got control arm bushings, track bar bushings. What other known issues did we come back from last trip? Oh, oh well, my air compressor was not working, which means I had no lockers. Well, that's not true either. You misstated that also. Oh, whatever. Well, it isn't. I have no air. Well, okay. But it has nothing to do with your air compressor not working. You have no power to your air compressor. Well, I your don't switch know these is... things. I just know what I have not working. <laughs> and my winch, the fuse blew. Yeah, again. I, there's something electrical about the wires there that... I have a feeling. I have a feeling it's a ground, but we'll have to... I saw something about adding extra ground. Yeah, I have a feeling it's the ground. So, uh, all right, oh, so. One more thing. Uh, I got a flat tire. Oh, you got a blown we sidewall. We, we, we cut, cut sidewall. Tire. We got to plug a sidewall so it can be a decent spare at least. Brand new tire, too. Never used, I don't think, that tire. No, I have no, no, I Well, I mean, never used. Needed. The brand new one's on now, the yeah. spare, but the, the that one's pretty new, the one you well, yeah. punctured the sidewall, too. So we'll probably uh, plug it and keep it as a spare. Yeah. Then what else do we have? Oh, well, apparently your tire went flat. Oh, yeah, behind Jennifer. Uh, it's been sitting all week uh, in the garage, and I came home from work this week, and uh, I was sitting here, and I look, and I go, oh, I guess I got a flat tire, too. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, what else we got wrong? We got to try to fix I think that's good for now. No, we're not. We got two air compressors that aren't uh, operable. Oh yeah, you blew my hose. And my compressor hose uh, failed. <laughs> so then I used Jennifer's compressor hose, which doesn't have a release, and I didn't get to the shut off quick enough and popped her hose. <laughs> yeah, I have it all written down on my list of stuff we have to do. Yeah, we got two compressor hoses that are shot. No power to Jen's uh, compressor. The switches aren't jiving. Something's. Uh, we've had uh, issues with her board on the uh, S pod. It's been uh, the solders have all uh, worn out. They, uh, you know, so they jiggle. And I, I think I redid it with some plumbing solder because that's what I had on hand. So we'll probably have to check that, check the solders, and maybe I have to break down and go buy some electrical solder and. Uh, Put some effort into resoldering those again, if that's the issue. We're not certain that we're, that we're just guessing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, something's not uh, jiving with the the power situation to hers. We know the control arm bushing issue, and that's uh, that's, that's definitely a, a big uh, a big uh, contributor to uh, wobble. Yeah. And uh, and it's due because I already changed two of the. How many are there? One, eight. two, there's eight yeah. bushings. I already started. I already have two failed. And that's already a, a sign. And then uh, after this, uh, she's already had the others were going. And we knew that they were due. And then after this last trip, oh, yeah, they're gone. They're shot. Yeah. They're history. So we got more bushings to do. This will be, since I've been with Jennifer, we're going on nine years. This is my fourth time doing the TerraFlex bushings. So about every two years we do them. Yeah. You got to press new bushings. Well, luckily we have a press to help us out. Yeah, that'll help. That was definitely made it a lot easier than doing it by hand with their hand tool, which was handy, but uh, it's great in a pinch. Uh, but bushings, you can kind of, 
you can nurse them until you get home and do it with your press a lot easier. Yeah. All the years I've been doing it by hand. and so that's priority today. I finally got old and I wasn't so cheap and bought a press. <laughs> Why spend money on a press? I can do it by hand with a wrench and a piece of alter it. Oh, <laughs> uh, how many? I did it three times all, all by hand. This is the first set I'm doing yeah, with a press. Yeah, you have a press. What do you say? Yeah, all oh these. Oh, my God. All I these. doing it by hand this whole time. Well, yeah, but I couldn't carry around a press. Like, <laughs> come on. All it, right. So Jennifer's probably gonna get out of her pajamas, yeah. and uh, I'm sure she has to uh, eat breakfast because oh. Jennifer always has to eat breakfast first. <laughs> then we'll uh, get working on these jeeps. See if we can't get uh, some stuff fixed. We got a lot of stuff. That's it's uh, it's a never-ending battle. You're always uh, if fixing. If you're not wheeling, you're wrenching. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, that's flat, flat. Could be one, yeah. one reason for a uh, low range heat. The sidewalls are tough. Can I not turn on the air? Huh? Can I not turn on the air? All right, let me check it out. <laughs> Doing it wrong. Do it. Okay. It's just really quiet. read my uh, PFG and then my sidewalls are so wore out. Oh, well, it's used. Okay, so we have the front upper control arm off. I'm trying to get the little snap ring out of here. Trying to remove the snap ring. And it just took an 18 millimeter to get the control arm off. Almost done, on it. Using the handy dandy uh, TerraFlex tool, it helps us compress the bushing and have access to the snap ring. Well, the snap ring still being a beast, which is pretty normal for Typical. these. Typical, yeah. Let me try change the angle to the dangle a little bit. Ah, oh, it was out. <laughs> it's like operation. Yeah, I had it out too and I dropped it. Need a small screwdriver, flat side. Okay. Got it. Release the pressure. The TerraFlex tool is neat about it. It has this gap here. It fits in here. And this fits perfectly inside the washer right there which allows you to compress it and then you can get this out with pressure on there this thing really doesn't want to come out put a little pressure let's see what this thing looks like oh it's kind of pushed up 
Oh yeah, I can see the bushing all pushed out on the side. Yeah. <laughs> This one you say? It was all clinking. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, it is pretty sharp. We need. Something to press the. Pushing out. supposed to look like. Wow, that bushing's in there. Make sure you clean out this, uh, the groove for the snap ring, or what do you call this, pinch ring, or yeah. clinch ring, I don't know, they got so many names. Uh, you want to make sure that groove is very well cleaned out. The other thing I like to do is I'll take the grease gun and I'm going to check the zerk, make sure the zerk is still working and that we're still getting grease into the uh, channel. The grease channel and the this does have a grease channel inside of it for the grease. Yeah. Uh, through the zerk into this cavity that the bushing goes in here. So I'm going to check this next. I'm going to check that this is still working. And it is still allowing grease to pass through. Because a lot of times these zerks so get clogged up and they won't work no more. So we're going to try to check that out right now. With the grease gun. Okay. Yep. That still works. You can look in there. See the grease? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to use that grease. I'm going to smear it all around in here. Oh, there's a nice chunk that we blew out, so I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah. That's a chunk of uh, hard grease. Watch. Let's see. Oh, I kind of smashed that right there. That was the old grease. See how kind of dense it is? And stiff. Yeah, it's clumpy. Yeah. yeah. So clean that out. Now we're going to smear the new grease all through this here so that the new uh, bushing will slide in easily. Because these bushings tend to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Being that this is the fourth time in nine years that I've changed these bushings for Jennifer's Jeep, these really don't look in too bad a shape. She usually destroys them much worse than this. But you can see what a brand new one looks like. Here's a brand new one. Here's a wore out one. That's not too bad. Usually she destroys them where they're like gone. Not even yeah, on the Jeep but anymore. it was clinking. So figure if we're going to do it, I might as well do it. So, these are not in the worst shape I've ever changed her, so she really destroys these. No, they've these. been worse than that. Yeah, she's pretty good at these get. They've seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> now, the one issue with these doggone things is when you press them, the hard part 
is keeping these teeth aligned. See that's see how they, they the ball kind of keeps them far enough away till you press it. Right. So that's the hardest, most complicated I would say bitch about doing these is making sure that you keep those teeth aligned. And this happens quite often. They get misaligned. It won't press right. You can't get the can't get the snap ring on. You got to take it apart, and then you'll find, oh, doggone it, my rings are misaligned. So you got to get those teeth aligned. So when this presses, those teeth interlock. And that's probably the biggest pain in the ass about these bushings. Okay. And that you have to change them every two years. That's the other big pain in the butt. Yeah. Uh, no, I need a washer first, don't I? Oh, no, that side has the washer on it. Huh? Oh, yeah, that side has the washer on it already. Mm. Mm. Why did I drop the, uh, the round piece? Inch at a time. Right. This one so it matches that one. And that's the fun part. Okay. Now we need 
my washer. We got new stuff here. So we put a washer on there. This is gonna go on later after we press it. It's where that handy dandy TerraFlex tool. This is two pieces. These are so you can put it around a bolt if you're using their tool. It comes with an all thread that goes through, but you can use it with a press too. It fits in there. Now this will fit inside this washer perfectly. Nice. And then it presses it and it allows enough room because we'll have to put the snap ring on there too. So we'll drop the snap ring on there, put that on there, and then we're gonna press this on here, like so. There we go, light it up. And getting those teeth to line up just right can prove to be a bear. With the press, it's a lot easier. With the uh, hand tool, it's uh, a little bit more work. Washers in, bushings going down. Now you can see that washer's level all the way around. So that means the bushing is going in, pressing level. And now we got to push it down enough to get this snap ring into that groove I cleaned out. And if you look closely. You can see the groove when it shows up. Let me get a flashlight so we can see this better. I can see a little bit of it, a little bit more. Alright. Here comes the fun part. Usually I have to press this ring down to get it to snap into a groove just right. So let's see how it goes today. Oh, 
a little bit bigger screwdriver? Yeah. Okay. Got a good visual on the, the slot. Sneeze. I heard it snap on the front, but I don't know if it snapped in the back. So let's hope it doesn't pop out. Let it loose. That moved. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you the mallet. Looks like it snapped. Let's see if it snapped. Sometimes you end up doing this a few times. <laughs> And sadly, after you go wheeling, you might find one or two of these have popped on you. So what I do is I take a socket that fits that snap ring. Bigger. And I press it to make sure it snaps in place. too much you just want to make sure that ring is seated in its uh, in its slot yeah I think that's seated nicely Yeah, that looks good. It's in there good. There's the other upper bolt, uh, control arm. Bushing's falling off in pieces here. Chunks of bushing. Yeah. You hear like those noises at full flex or you hear your bushing shot. This bushing is definitely history. Yep. All right, here we go. Number two. Upper control arm bushings. The main reason I didn't go with the Terraflex. <laughs> Not 
have a handy dandy tool. Fix inside the uh, inside the washer. Remember, and this one's so beat up, it might be a hard time finding that hole. Let's see if the press can help me find it. Pliers. Pay to play. Mm -hmm. Well, TerraFlex has always been good to you and sent you new bushings. Yeah. So, the fun I get to have is I get to press them. <laughs> this to push out this one. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sure most of it out by hand. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's <laughs> destroyed bushing. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, not much bushing left there. But some of the last little chunks of bushing out of here. Clean up the grease groove. We'll do the same thing with this uh, Zerk. Zerk. See if we can push the grease through it. And then this, where the ring goes, you got to clean that out really good. Yeah. So it seats properly. Yeah, to get a new ring to seat on there with junk in there is a biatch. <laughs> Normally I make her take brake cleaner to these and before I even touch them. <laughs> I 
forgot a brake cleaner though because we used it all the. What do we I do? I can go check and see. I might have bought a new one. I think we used it all. What did we do last time? The, uh, lower control arm. Yeah, I think I used it all when you clean that one up to make it nice and shiny. I can go check. Yeah, that's a that's a bushing. That's a Jennifer bushing. That's how they are normally when she's done with it. <laughs> That's pretty normal. I got, I got every bit of use out of them. Yeah, well, yeah, you did. And then some. Well, yeah. Well, when I start having death wobble, it's like, okay, time to change them out. I knew it was coming since I did the other one already. Yeah. Well, it's like when you have one headlight go out, yeah. you got to change them both because you know the other one's coming. Got the Zerk to work. The Zerk was a little clogged, so that's working good now. I just want to clean out any of the old plastic from that old bushy. Because it's all burned into any nook and cranny you can get into. So the grease slot is kind of clogged with burnt up bushing, so that's what I'm cleaning right now. Yep. And with my finger, when I was putting new grease in, I could feel the uh, roughness of the old bushing sticking taller than the metal. So there's a bump. Right. So I said, oh, that's not right. There should be no bumps. It should be smooth. Let's see all that old bushing I pulled out of there. So if you have TerraFlex control arms, when you do the bushings, you really want to make sure the inside of this to make your life easier because it will be a pain if this is dirty inside of here all these little things I'm cleaning you feel with your finger in there any rough edges I need a file you got a little bump all right you're on oh it's been a long day we got all the upper controller and bushings replaced. And now we're working on the rear track bar. Show Why? Me. What is that? Gonzo. I can't do it with this one. That one's a little tighter? Yeah. But I noticed, I feel there is some movement. But I felt some, like, clunking in the back. What did you say? All so, right. we get to work on that. Next. Next project. This now. <laughs> Do a video bomb. <laughs> I'm going to put you on YouTube now. Oh, no. <laughs>